When I'm looking at a stamp and die set, I really like to find a bunch of different ways to use it to have totally different looks on my cards. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video I'll be sharing the Funky Flowers Stamps and Dies from the latest Gina K Designs release. This is such a fun set because there are really a bunch of different ways to use this set with different colors and different combinations of flowers to make your cards look very different from each other. So first, let's take a look at the Funky Flowers Stamps and Dies. This is the Funky Flowers stamp set. It's a large six by eight stamp set. You can see there's tons of sentiments that come in the set, as well as different flowers, stems and leaves and flower centers. And they all have that whimsical or funky design. There are dies to cut out all of the images. There are also dies that can cut out all of the sentiments. So this is a great set to have because you'll be able to layer things and pop things up. Now let's use this set to make a few cards. For this first card, I wanted to create a simple bouquet or cluster of flowers. So I chose a few colors. Flowers are sea glass by Gina K Designs. The centers are blue raspberry. The leaves and stems are minted and the other stems and little flowers are coral reef. I've also stamped the sentiments out in Gina K's Black Amalgam ink, and now I'll just layer those flowers together using a little bit of liquid adhesive and the My Sweet Petunia Precision Glue Press to adhere those flower centers down to the flowers. Now I have everything stamped and die cut and ready to go and layered up. So I cut a white piece of cardstock down to four by five and a quarter, and then I adhered it down to an A2 piece of Gina K Designs cardstock in minted. And now I'll just start with the cluster. So I have the large flowers, all four of them around the outsides. I'll fill in the centers with a couple more flowers. And I have these all popped up on a square of foam adhesive. That gives me room on the sides to tuck things underneath. So I have some of that blue raspberry and coral reef and, and then some of the leaves as well can be tucked underneath. Then I have a couple of free spots in the upper right and lower left of the cluster. So I'll pop up the sentiment that says, hello friend there. There's just an easy way to use this set to create a cluster or bouquet of flowers. For this next card, I'm not thinking about the design first. I'm thinking about color first. I want to play with a rainbow of flowers. So I have some Gina K Designs ink cubes and I'm stamping an assortment of the flowers. This time I'm not going with stems and leaves. I'm just going with the flowers. And you can see that I have an assortment of colors from a light pink to a dark pink, a light orange to a dark orange, same with yellow and blue. And then I switch up the centers of the flowers that I stamped right on the flower itself. So I'm not layering this time, I'm stamping them out. Once I have them all stamped out, that entire rainbow, then I start to play with the design and I thought I would go around the left hand side and the bottom, but it turns out I had more flowers. So I stopped there and then added my sentiment in the center. This one says birthday wishes. I love that they can all be cut out so that you can pop them up. And I needed to go back and add a few more flowers. So I combined a color, a couple of colors together to create that light purple so that I could add that in at the top there and this way I have the rainbow of flowers all around the sentiment. So it ended up being a fun design anyway. For this next card, I thought clean and simple would be really fun. So I've stamped three stems and I'm stamping a whole bunch of leaves. Now I'm using the same mint color that I used at the beginning of this video. And now I'm stamping three of the flowers that kind of look like tulips, that type of shape. And now I'll take a piece of white cardstock and stamp in embossing ink a sentiment. This way I can cover it with gold embossing powder. This one says congratulations and I'll heat set that so it's nice and shiny and then die cut it out so I can pop it up at the top of the card. Then I'll start with the center and that's going to be my orange flower and I'll put the flower in first and then adhere the stem with some liquid adhesive, put a couple of leaves around it and then the next two flowers 
flowers go on either side of that center and then I can have stems for those as well and a couple of leaves for those as well. And again, clean and simple, just really nice to have several different ways to use this set. I hope you can tell how much fun I had playing with this set and creating different color flowers and designs. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in checking out any of the supplies that I used, they will be linked under this video in the YouTube description box in a supply list. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Keep stepping on the things on the floor, which is not great. Stamps and dies first. Oh, nobody's there. They're barking at nothing. No, I can't remember where I was. Um, now, let's use... <laughs>